Now we're gonna look at how to adjust the height of the bars depending on the values that we have. So if I grab this here, we got value one, two, and three. It's always a good idea to not leave these values to zero because we're gonna divide, we're gonna do some div uh, divisions and it's always good to not divide by zero and if you want to avoid uh, error catching and all of that. For, for, now, for now, I'm just gonna say 100, a value of 100, the value of 100 here, and a value of 100. So no matter what the values no matter which values we're going to enter here, we want to scale it so that it's it's, it's kind of normalized within the space of our graph. So if we have a value, let's say, of 10,000, we don't want to have a bar that's like super high and another one that is uh, that they all go uh, beyond the screen. So we, we want to normalize that so that it's within that space here. So we're going to see how to do that. You saw when we, um, when we did create the bars and we animated them, we animated them in the XForm modifier. So the XForm is the scale from 0 to, to 100. So we don't have to make any adjustments to that. It's just going to animate. It's going to continue to animate this way. And the, we've uh, offset the animation for all of the bars. What we want to adjust is actually the, the box height that is here. So in, a, in order to adjust that, what I'll do is I'll right click and I'll say show in uh, track view. And when it brings track view, you see that we have the height parameter here. And we're going to assign a script controllers to, uh, controller to the height. So if I right click and say assign controller, we are uh, uh, now we're currently having a Bezier float. We want to assign a um, float script, which is here. And I'll say OK. And it's going to bring up the script window. In order to be able to do our uh, normalization, we have to we have to do this. So I'm going to say the value that I want to adjust, or value one, or height one, I want that to be a, a multiplication of value one divided by value two plus value sorry value one plus value two plus value three. And I want all of those to be uh, normalized or multiplied by a, a certain amount. So I'll say maybe 100 for now, multiply, and that's going to be our value. And, and we're going to adjust all of that. But it's value 1 divided by the sum of all the values of the other bars. By doing this, we're going to be able to normalize that. The thing is that the, we, we're going to call it value uh, value 1 divided by value 1 plus value 2 plus value 3. But right now, those um, those variables don't mean anything to the script editor because it doesn't know exactly what it refers to. So we have to create variables that match those names and we need to connect them to parameters or to controllers in our scene. So what I'll do is I'll create a first variable called value oops, value 1 and I'll create it. I'll create another one called value 2, say create, and another one called value 3 and say create. Right now they have no value so I'm going to assign that to a track in a track, I, I, what I need to do is to go into my objects here. We have our control object, which is the circle that is here. I could have named it control. That would have been easier to find out. But you see that we have value 1, value 3, and value three, value 1, value 2, value 3. So I'll say connect it to value 1. And now you see that it's connected to that. That's good. I'll do the same thing with value 2. I'll say assign to a track. And I'll go again to the circle. And I'll grab value 2 and click OK. And value 3 assign to a track and I'll say assign to value tree and say okay so now we have value 1 value 2 value 3 assigned to the values that are in our object that is here so if I say evaluate immediately you'll see that the I'm going to minimize this you'll see that our height has been adjusted so if I go back here and I change the value or maybe I, I, I climb it up or climb it down you'll see that we have the uh, we have a change here and same thing here, if I change value 2 and value 3. Right now, it's kind of locked to a value of 100. So what I need to do is go back to my animation, my parameter editor. We know that we can edit, so I'm going to go and edit. I want to say the spinner of value 1, I don't want it to, for, to range from value 0 to 100. I'll say maybe 50,000, so we can have, or even 100,000. So let's say 100,000. And the default will make it to 100, so that we know that it's going to default to 100. Apply changes. I'm going to do the same thing here to 100,000 and we want it to default to 100 so enter apply changes and I'll do the same thing here to 100,000 and to the default here set to 100 and apply changes. All right, here we go. So now we have our new controller so I can scale it up and scale it down and you see that I can climb those values. Oops, my mouse is kind of going crazy. I can climb. I, I can 
create make those value much bigger or much smaller that's not a problem but you see that depending on which uh, depending it's when it because it's normalized all of these values here are kind of a, a, no matter which value i adjust you see that they all affect the height of this one so I can go back here and I can go back to my controller. My expression is my expression is already done. I can adapt it for uh, the bar two and bar three. So what I'll do is I'll just close this down and I'll grab the controller itself, which is here, the height controller. I'll right click and I'll say copy and I'll grab the, uh, the box here and I'll go and grab the modified object. And if I go to the box, the base here, the height is right here. I'm going to say paste, but I'm not going to make it an instance, but just a copy. And now it's going to be exactly the same control, but that's fine. And I'm going to, if I double click on it, we, you'll see that we have value one, value three. They're already connected, so I don't have to do that again. But now I'm interested in value two. So I'll say value, oh, come on, value two. That's going to be the value at the top. And I'll say evaluate, and that's good. And then I'm going to grab bar number three. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing, modified object, box, grab the height and say paste. I want that to be a copy, not an instance. And I'll double click and now I'm interested in value three and say evaluate and I'll close this down. So now what we'll see is that no matter what, if I select in any of those values, if I say let's say a value of 100 here, a value of 100 there, and a value of 100 here, what we'll see is that Hmm. Okay, so I just need to play the animation completely. When you're recording, you sometimes you just realize that uh, that you're you're recording and you're not thinking. Anyway, so what I've got now is my three values, and they all have their controllers. The animation is still working, but if I go now, if I go at the complete end of the animation, and if I grab my uh, my editor here, you'll see that if I say value of 500, it's going to go up, and the two others will go down. If I have a value of 50,000, this one is going to be very high. This one will be low. But you see that it always stay within that um, that range here of the of the bar, and that's because of the value of the hundred that I've set as a as a multiplier. If I want them to be small smaller let's say that I go back to my um, to this object here and I go back to the uh, track view and I go to the modified object here and grab the um, the height here since I set it to a value of 100 but if I want that to be a bit smaller I say a value of 50 and I'll say evaluate and now this the bar will be a bit smaller I need to adjust that on the three bars but a value of 100 works fine so I'll leave it to 100 but you'll see that this one here if I set it back to Set it 100. You'll see that it's going to be a bit higher. So evaluate. You'll see that it's going to be higher, and that's just a scalar. And you, if you want to, let's say that you want to make be able to adjust that. You could also give it so value one, value two, and value three. And you could add a um, a slider here that's called scale, and you can multiply the whole um, the whole normal normalization by a value that is adjustable. That's also a possibility that you can add if you want to. But right now I'm going to go back to 100, and if I scrub from beginning to end here you said they're all of the same height that's good and if I make this one bigger and this one smaller and this one maybe top, top bigger so you can see that the, the three values will be adjusted at the same time and we also have our color so that's good and it when we save this it's always good to save it in a generic format so I'm gonna say a hundred a hundred and a hundred so they're all uh, at the same height and that's how it looks now and I'll just save this as in, in the current state. So that, that means that when I'm gonna open that file, it's gonna be in camera view and the values will be grayed out or the, the colors will be gray and the values will be all equal. I need to change them.